Good morning, beautiful friends. As usual, I've no idea how this is going to work out. Um, I insist, as you know, in... Oh, blimey, that's me a bit big in the screen, isn't it? You don't want to see my ugly face that big. Um, as you know, I, I insist on talking from the heart, off the cuff. I don't have a script. There's quite a lot I want to cover, so it, it may all get covered today, or it may end up as a, a trilogy over three days. What well, we'll just have to see. Um, but I want to talk to you about Orwellian Newspeak and other related issues. George Orwell came up with this idea of Newspeak a way of speaking where everything is different and is backwards and the meaning is deliberately obscured. The truth is deliberately obscured. And funnily enough, he came up with that idea while he was working for the BBC. Hmm. Speaks volumes, doesn't it? So the first example, I'm going to upset a lot of people, okay? I know I'm going to upset a lot of people. Um, I speak my truth from my heart, and if you don't like it, then I'm sorry to see you go, but such is life. Um, yeah, I'm going to shit all over some sacred cows, but such is life. So the first example I want to give is this idea of progressives in politics, progressive politics, which basically means left-wing globalist, woke politics. And how they contrast that with the people they call the populists, the ones they put down as, you're just a populist, which is anybody who disagrees with them. But funnily enough, this idea is most prevalent in countries which, at least on the surface, are supposed to be democracies. And a democracy, by definition, progresses in the most popular direction. That's what voting is for. So if you call yourself a progressive and you put down the people who disagree with you as populists, what you're really saying is you don't believe in democracy. It's Orwellian Newspeak where everything is backwards. And the thing is that the people that talk like this tend to be the academics. We believe that, uh, we're taught to believe by academics, that the academics are the intelligent people, that we're supposed to bow down and worship them, you know, and agree with whatever they say. But the truth of the matter is that academia, at least since World War Two, maybe longer, has been has been infiltrated by these left-wing globalist progressive woke type people and science especially the social sciences but not exclusively the social sciences um, you see if you don't comply with the dogma you won't get any funding and you won't get promotion so 